Most drones have several intelligent flight modes. If used properly, they can help you make your drone flying experience even easier and allow you to capture some awesome shots. So let's see what each of them do and how you can use them. A quick thing to note is that different drones come with varying flight models, so it's important to figure out the features of each drone to better your understanding. I have the DJI Air 2S, so the flight modes I have access to are Master Shots, Hyperlapse, Focus Track, and Quick Shots. This video will act as part one, where I'll go over Master Shots, Hyperlapse, and Focus Track. The second part will focus on Quick Shots. So first up, let's do Master Shots. So we're going to go in the top right and look and tap that icon that looks like a film roll. And then we are going to scroll down and click master shots right underneath the video. Like that. So just make sure that you are away from most subjects like trees or anything and just raise the drone up or out as far as you can. And I'm gonna go back a little bit just so I'm away from everything. Let's just do me in this bench. And then it says estimated flight time is two minutes and click start and it counts down. And so it is going to perform a variety of different shots. And I'm not touching the controls at all as this does this. So once you tap the button, you can basically just sit back and relax. Of course, just make sure that you keep an eye on your drone. And it's even telling you in the bottom what these different types of shots are. And you can see now that it's going to return to its starting position. And then you could tap this and it'll show you the whole video. And you could even, I mean, from the app, as the drone is still flying, I could select and edit and it would uh, combine all of these shots into one which is really cool all right so next we are going to do hyperlapse and that is just a few below master shots hyperlapse is just a time lapse while the drone is moving you could have the drone stay stationary if you want like if you're recording cars and you just want them to go by fast all right let's just do free and we're going to start and it says it's going to take about 10 minutes and take a total of 125 photos. This is also a great reminder to check your battery percentage and make sure you have enough battery for the hyperlapse. And the last mode we'll look at is focus track. After selecting the subject with your finger, you can choose from three different features. POI, orbits around the subject like this. Spotlight will keep the subject in the center of the frame and have the drone not move around that much. Active shots will track the subject in either manual mode or parallel mode. In manual mode, it will follow you in different positions, and in parallel mode, the drone will follow the subject from the side and stay parallel. And if you want an even more in-depth look at these intelligent flight modes, check out our Drone Pilot Skill Builder course. It will help you level up your skills with flight exercises, shooting techniques, and more so you can fly with confidence. It'll be in the first link below. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell for more drone tips. Also, comment down below if you've ever used these flight modes before. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying.